Hey guys, it's your girl Juliet. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have an impromptu uh, save my plant video. There it is. Her name is Vera. <laughs> Aloe Vera. So Vera is just But um, uh, I've had Vera for some time now, um, uh, since the summer, I'd say maybe around July, um, I've had her and um, she's grown quite, quite a bit, um, but uh, lately she's been losing some leaves and today she's just lost another one, I noticed. Um, this is about the third leaf that uh, she's lost thus far. and. Um, I gotta get to the bottom of this, try to figure out what's happening, but I'm assuming that I've overwatered it. I'm just going to take it out, take a look at its roots, and see if that's the case. If that's the case, I'm gonna get rid of the old roots, and I am going to um, give it some fresh soil and see how she does from there. And sorry about the noise, I got my little kids running around, so... Um, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already doing so. All right, enjoy the video. All right, so let's just inspect its roots. They look like they are mushy. Yeah, I've got some rotten roots here. So I got rid of the rest of her roots and um, the soil came off pretty easily um, along with the roots, the rotten roots that is. And um, here I am putting it in water just so that, um, you know, I could save some of the roots that are left that are still healthy, but apparently um, none of it is healthy. So I have no idea where I went wrong with Vera. I understand that succulents don't require much water as they hold water within themselves. Um, I only watered her when her soil was completely dry and only then. So I'm not too sure what happened with Vera. So here's Vera, naked roots. This is what's left, right? Oh. All right, so I gotta clean, uh, what do you call these things again? Nursery pot, there we go. And I got my, um, my premium cactus mix here. Um, it's just that I'm practically out. So this is what's left of it. I'm going to use this up, add a little bit of potting soil. Um, I'm using this one today. I'm trying this out. Picked it up from Walmart. And uh, so we'll, we'll put a little bit of this in it to supplement and see how that works out. Okay, 
So let's take a look at this. Very nice soil. So this has hummus, sphagnum moss, sorry, sphagnum peat. I can't read. This has hummus, sphagnum peat moss, sand, and perlite. Some nice rich soil right there. I'm a little nervous using this soil for Vera as it's not fully a succulent or cactus soil mix that I'm using. Um, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and um, you know just monitor and see if uh, the soil is going to work out just fine for Vera or not. I'll keep you all updated on that. So using a hanger, I made some makeshift steaks. So I don't really have anything right now on hand for this emergency uh, plant saving situation. So here I go, a couple steaks so that I could hold this plant up because she is flopping all over the place. Okay, so let's... When it came to supporting Vera's leaves, um, it took me many tries to get it right. I finally came to, um, you know, one configuration that I think works best. So I cut out the the guesswork um, out of the video for you. But this is what she looks like now. So thus far my plant parent journey is definitely um, involving a lot of trial and error, some guesswork here and there, but I'm enjoying it along the way. Um, as you know, I've lost some plants and I've saved some, so I'm pretty happy about that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, that it was helpful to you in uh, one way or another. Um, but um, see y'all again on the next video. All right, thanks for watching. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe once again. Have a good day, y'all.